Harry Robertson still grapples with lingering trauma from his battle with bedbugs. He spent over a year fearing bedtime, isolating himself from close friends and family. When you're sharing a flat in London, your bedroom is often the thing that is your, your little oasis of calm. And that's something that you're essentially scared to go back to because you go back, you get in bed and you start itching. These tiny parasites live in upholstery and soft furnishings. They feed on you while you sleep, leaving behind itchy red marks. You throw the bedclothes off and you look down and they're sort of little specks of blood. And eventually you'll sort of fall asleep, you'll get two, three hours of sleep, you'll wake up in the next morning and you'll be covered in bites. Chemical treatments are losing their effectiveness as bedbugs develop resistance. We tried chemicals and it never ever got rid of them. We moved out, uh, I burnt a large quantity of my uh, bed linen, I threw away quite a few of my clothes. While Paris is facing a bedbug epidemic causing considerable alarm, experts suggest the insects could already be hitching a ride on the Eurostar to London. Eurostar says it's taking swift action to prevent Parisian bedbugs travelling on trains. The disturbing reports have raised the alarm, prompting Eurostar to intensify cleaning efforts across its network. Passengers can now expect preventative treatments to ensure bedbug-free journeys, including hot water being used to clean upholstery and the option for additional disinfection upon request. But David Kane, a molecular biologist and bedbug pest control expert, says he's already traced bedbugs found in London to Paris. Lo and behold, the person had had bed bugs for approximately one week and they'd been on the Eurostar a week before. So we've already traced it to highly likely to be there. Could London face a similar fate? The problem is, because we're British, it's all stiff upper lip. We don't want to talk about bed bugs. I heard the statistic quoted of one in 10 homes in Paris in the last two years. I would say it's probably closer to one in five homes in London over the last four or five years. For those who've come into contact with bedbugs, vigilance is essential. For Harry, the anxiety persists. The paranoia basically never goes away. It's really, really grim to see it, to see it be something that could be on the rise in London again. A Parisian parasite problem that could be secretly plaguing London too. Luke Hanrahan, Euronews, London.